Hello my friends, as always with you Maxim and today I decided to dive into the old games that were popular in my childhood and I think in yours if that were talking about the children of the early 2000s. So today you will see the first of three videos in which we will learn how a race of ducks can conquer the galaxy, when Spore 2 comes out, how to properly troll your neighbor and how simply father and son conquered the internet. Our first game was created by Will Wright back in 2008 and as you understood it was poor. We won't talk about the history of the game but let's go straight to the point. The game is a kind of simulation of God or evolution. From the beginning we choose one of the six planets where our cell will appear. This cell goes to the primary broth where you need to eat algae for which you get DNA points for which you can improve your cell by giving offspring. <laughs> Your cell grows and you can play solution open up over time. You can remain a herbivore, become a carnivore or glue to mouth's own and be an omnivore. What kind of food you eat determines which card you will be given. At each stage you can get one of three cards. Green card is for good dudes, blue is for those who are a little rowdy but still find a way to negotiate and solve everything and red is for rabbit and adequates who move down entire species. Card affect the philosophy which you will be available in a space phase. A total of 10 in a game and each gives a special skill. After our self has grown, we go outside and attach the legs. Oh, that's cute. I decided to do a duck race. Now that doesn't look much like a duck, but to be fair, a duck didn't immediately become a duck in real world either. Sounds like a motivational quote, right? <laughs> so if you don't have something that looks like a duck, just do what you do and it will definitely become a duck. Quack. An interesting fact is that there were three other stages in the development phase of the game, two of which were in the beginning, which were molecule and a fish, but they were removed. The creature stage already has a different genre of the game. Now it's like a prehistoric world of Warcraft with blackjack and axe. Here we run around looking for bones that gives us new parts for the creature. Each part is responsible for a different parameter. So you can pump up your beauty and fashion to make everyone around you fall off their feet and become your friend. Or you can pump up spikes, potions Ocean sprinklers? However, you creature can have out of everything at once, because you are stacked against the evolutionary limit. The aim of the stage is find your friends or enemies. Dig bones, have sex, Quack. eat, run to new nest, and like the man did, establish dominance of the species. The tribal stage is a kind of strategy, where you have to develop your village, monitor the amount of food, give birth to new children, win the friendship of other tribes by dancing and singing, or just destroy them. Depending on your decision, the totem will change, and based on the totem you will be given a card. The stage is quick and not to say it's interesting, and I didn't really like it as a kid, but to mix the gameplay with new ideas is a good thing. The next stage is a whole economic strategy, something like civilization. We have a city, for which by the way we can make a lot of items, such as buildings, parks, factories and various types of transport. Frankly, when I was a kid, I spent more time creating all these things than on a stage. As soon as we appear, we need to immediately capture a couple of spice sources. They will bring us money, for which we will improve our city and buy new equipment. It's very important to improve the city, because the citizens have a level of happiness, which affects income. The starting planets always have only red spice, but sometimes you get yellow spice. And there are six in total. Red, yellow, blue, green, pink and purple. I named them according to their level of rarity and value, but about the other spices a little later. A total of 12 cities appear with us, each of which we can take over in different ways. So we can convert them to our religion with the light music machines, just buy the city or again destroy. When the whole planet becomes one state, we fly into space. This is where the sandbox begins. The goal is to fly to the center of the galaxy, but it's unlikely that you will fly immediately. The game has many tools for editing planets. You can base colonies, you can mine them for spices of different colors. Remember, I said that there are six spices on a different planet and you can mine them all. You can use the money to buy new colonies, tools for terraforming and to improve your ship. You can also make friends, trade and destroy. Fight with the Gregs who live near the center of the galaxy, search for different remnants of civilizations, planets with tribes, cities, asteroids such as the solar system and much more. If you have the space adventures add-on, you still have different quests that you can take for fun and also create your own. 
The game for its time was very cool. I would really like a new part, but the team that made the game no longer exists and came to the help of new gaming companies. One of them is planning to create a remastered version. Another wants to make a full, complete second part, but all these plans are on the verge of 2030. To be exact, the range goes from 2026 to 2031. Development has been going on for at least 7 years and there is no decent information yet. So this is where Thrive comes in. The cell stage is still available in the game, which is by the way more advanced, and kind of like developers promised to do simulation of evolution, so I think in addition to the cell stage there will be other stages. You can evaluate the game, especially it does not cost much, at least in my country it costs only 2 bucks. So. The next game is Neighbor from Hell. The game was released in 2004 and has a second part, but for some reason it didn't go to many people and everyone played only the first part and consider it more iconic. If you played the second part, write your thoughts on it. The whole game is a show and where are the actors in it. The game revolves around a show where neighbor Woody trolls Mr. Rottweiler. You have to look for items on each level to set fire to the old man's asshole. There are in prominent places or hidden in drawers, so you'd better poke around first. Each day the neighbor has his own routine, that's what you need to memorize in order to make a chain of nervous breakdowns, because the rating of the series depends on it. For the rating you open new levels and even get an Oscar. With each season new floors and rooms are opened, and the pranks themselves become more respectively, the level becomes more difficult. In addition to the number of nesties, the difficulty was increased by a dog that barked when it saw you, or a parrot, as well as various random events. Tricks are tribal, but they were fun to do, like putting toilet paper in a toilet, drawing a monster on a painting or replacing a ball the kids hit out the window with a bowling ball. The game was very nerve-wracking and it was ridiculously for a child to do all these pranks, especially after watching Home Alone, which gives a similar opportunity to make fun of an old man. The last game for today is Happy Will. I think everyone knows it, because even if you haven't played it, you've seen the Let's Play. The game was played by almost all YouTubers in all countries. The game originally had only one character and one level, and the goal was to double the speed. Yeah. But the breakup of the game came when people began to make their own levels, which even at that time was not a few, and then it started. Let's Plays, funny compilations, reviews of levels and memes. Even I used to make levels for this game and videos about it. The goal here very simple, it's to choose one of the characters, each of which has its own unique transport, and get to the finish line alive. Sometimes it's if not impossible, then very very difficult. Over time people began to come up with their own mini games and tried to come up with a level even more difficult and horrible than the previous player did. In addition to levels to warm up your ass, there are some really beautiful and elaborate ones with their own story. I'll never forget my first games. Let's go son! Oh, oh no! Daddy? Dad? Dad? Daddy? 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 I'm out of here. Bye bye. So for now the video comes to the end, thank you for watching it, put your likes and write comments, I will be very pleased. See you again very very soon.